Presiding officer, let me join others in congratulating uh, the First Minister and all the government team on an excellent uh, programme for a stronger Scotland, in particular uh, supporting uh, many of the social ills that there are in our society. Now, a number of particular things in uh, today's speech from the First Minister in the government's programme that I want to touch on. And let me start on food and drink. Uh, which is a very important issue for my constituency and for employment in my constituency. Uh, we are the home of uh, excellent beef and lamb, and of course, fishing is a very strong industry in the northeast of Scotland. We've seen oilseed rape move from a commodity simply to put nitrogen back in the soils to delivering first class extra virgin oilseed rape oil that is used in the best kitchens across these islands and beyond. We see that the north east of Scotland is becoming a centre for Europe uh, for garlic production. It's being exported to France. We are innovating, we are continuing uh, to improve. But there are challenges for the industry and I hope uh, that in the support, particularly through funding for small and medium-sized enterprises, that the government will look at how we can improve branding for small and medium-sized enterprises in the food and drink industry. Some of the recent troubles that there have been in the fish processing industry in my constituency are based on an inability of even quite large firms control their own destiny to an adequate extent. They don't own the brands. They're doing work for others on short-term contracts. And when the contract moves, that can have devastating effects. They also don't control the sources of supply of the raw material uh, for many of the products that they produce. And I'd like to think that we can see the government giving support through the enterprise agencies uh, to companies to develop branding and to develop more robust uh, channels of supply of raw materials. We produce some of the best food and drink in the world, but we can do more and we need more support. The government has also said it's going to look at the planning system, and that can touch on the subject of food and drink as well. Because when we grant planning consent, be it local government level or by the government, we are actually granting a privilege to commercial companies that apply for planning consent. And in exchange for that planning consent, we perhaps should be more ambitious in what we seek to get in return. And in relation to planning consents for supermarkets, which are heavily controlling the food and drink sector, we should perhaps look at whether we can have planning consent conditions as part of national policy implemented by local councils and elsewhere that require local sourcing. Now, under European law, that's likely to mean within Europe. But equally, we can say it must be from small and medium-sized enterprises, creating the opportunity for these companies to grow through the operation of the planning system, perhaps in a slightly different way. Let me finally, uh, presiding officer, uh, talk on the subject of digital infrastructure, which the A Stronger Scotland uh, document uh, talks about uh, to some degree. Um, our week away over recess was in Plopton. It was an absolute delight. We had six megabit uh, broadband in Plopton. Uh, it was a, a town with an airport and a railway station. These are three things I don't have at home. Uh, we even had 2G phone signal, which I don't have at home. The UK government, of course, in its programme for new masks and new coverage for phones has not done terribly well. Not a single new mast in Scotland. I hope that uh, the ed excellent results we're seeing in delivering better broadband across the Highlands become to a point of near universality. For those of us like myself who cannot be connected uh, because of the line between me and the exchange uh, to superfast broadband, I hope that we'll see some priority given to the development and implementation of solutions for rural dwellers such as ourselves on exchange-only lines. We're making terrific progress. We're ahead of where we might have expected to be some time ago. Presiding officer, it's an excellent programme. I commend it to everyone here in the Parliament.